Hey there, and welcome to our newest pad video. So we have a new client uh, that just moved to the area with her 2011 Volkswagen Tiguan. Uh, brought it to us for the first time, and we want to point out some uh, some things we found. Uh, the reason it's here is for uh, maybe a once over. So she wanted us to check it out top to bottom, front to back, see what kind of issues it may or may not have. Uh, it has a, this deal has an intermittent oil pressure light in the instrument cluster uh, vehicle also has a check engine light with a p0299 fault code it's uh, turbocharged under boost condition uh, so anyway we uh, we have some good findings we want to show these to our client uh, so we're going to put this on video we're going to send it to her directly and it may be helpful to our youtube viewers as well so let's start out two liter turbo under side here we've removed the pan on the floor from the pan on the floor, you can see coolant. That's the reason it's not on the street or the driveway because this pan's doing its job and catching it. So since we've removed the pan, you can see here on the floor where the Tiguan has dripped coolant or antifreeze just in this short amount of time. Wow, look at that. So this is all crusted antifreeze, dried, crusted, burnt antifreeze. So you can see it. See it right here about to drip. Okay. So where's this coolant coming from? Well, on the front side of the engine here under the intake manifold, it's buried, but there is a actual water pump on there, under there, belt driven water pump. This is an auxiliary water pump that's commonly failed, but this particular one looks dry and looks like it has not at this time. So we trace the coolant way up in there and we may be able to show another angle from the top but trust me it's back in there and it's deep all right so we got all this coolant here's your typical uh, signs of dried coolant uh, we have a little bit of an oil leak that we want to discuss we can see engine oil right here well this is coming from or as a result of the rear engine crankshaft seal rear main seal some call it so we would actually remove the transmission from the vehicle Remove the flywheel, replace the seal, put it all back together. But that's the culprit of the leak. So it starts inside the, this area here that we can't see, drains out here. And while going down the road, the wind blows it back this way. So that's why we have the residual oil residue back here. This right here, I have no clue what that is. It, first my thought that came to mind was maybe, you know, this car ran over some roadkill or something and that's what little bit was left of it. I don't know, not real certain. Um, we also have a, the right front or passenger side axle. You can see this flange or cover that comes with them. Um, look, it's broken. So I don't know if, if the vehicles ran over something and at the time, you know, it broke this, but who knows? Um, doesn't seem to be an issue at the moment. Just wanted to point it out. Um, seems to be okay living living along with it um, so also something else I want to point out that's very common on these Tiguans are these control arm bushings these are the lower control arm bushings there's the driver side passenger side I kind of set the lift arm under them but I'm gonna get a pry bar and you're gonna see as I pry on this control arm You can see the bushing how it's torn it's torn very badly up here but it's actually separated torn in half completely down here you can see there maybe a little better view but anyway both sides are torn this one as well um, we're able to replace the bushing by itself and not have to replace the entire control arm um, right here there's a little bit more of this coolant where it's run down to the lowest point on the engine, that's all dried coolant as well. So anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna lower this car, um, get the camera back on the top side, and we'll show you some more things. All right, so we got the car down. Um, I wanna show you first this oil pressure sending unit on these two liters. You can pan right here, just below the engine oil filter, there is a 
oil pressure sending unit, oil pressure sender right here. Now, a lot of times this one, or when you pull the connector off, there'll be some oil in the connector as oil saturated through. Um, this one doesn't seem to be leaking, but it is in fact broken. The housing itself broken right there. Uh, but anyway, this is gonna be the culprit of our intermittent oil pressure warning in the instrument cluster. So we're just gonna screw this sensor out. We're gonna clean the port up, put a new one in. All right, so let's talk turbocharger. So this car has been diagnosed previous for a faulty turbocharger and they were right. It was an accurate diagnosis, but when it came to me, I wanted to say, how can I prove it? How can I prove that other than just telling our client it needs a turbocharger? All right, so what I've done, I took the time to remove this intake boot, this intake tube it mounts right here. Um, I've removed that. I've also uh, removed the, the, uh, the oxygen sensor before the catalytic converter, and that gave me access to the um, exhaust pipe, which is right behind the turbocharger. So what I've done, I've set up our camera. We've got a bore scope camera in there. And I have the wastegate open. I'm using my Mighty Vac vacuum pressure uh, tool to open the wastegate. And just to show you, I'll close it a little bit. You see it move. So let's open it back up. And what do we find? Right here, you can see there's a crack right there where that wastegate seals. So this is a big ring, a big circle, like a, like a plate. Well, I say big, it's probably the size of a half dollar. But it's a circle plate that seals along this edge. Any leak in that seal will cause an underboost condition. But you can see right here where the casting in the turbocharger is in fact cracked. And this is a high pressure area so under loads and high pressure, that air, the turbocharger, pressurized air, will seep past, and the, the, the uh, pressure sensor uh, recognizes that and throws the uh, under boost pressure fault code, which is a result of our check engine light, or our check engine light is a result of that. So anyway, I'm gonna take the camera out. Um, we're gonna set it up and then we can get a good angle of the leaking water pump. And that should sum up this uh, Tiguan today. All right, so we got our camera resituated so we can show you the water pump leak. Uh, you can see the right here in the engine bay, I've got my camera bore scope run way down under the intake manifold. And we're looking back towards the engine. Right here, you can see this is the belt. See those little numbers? That's the water pump belt. This is where the water pump meets the engine block. And you can see the crusty, same thing we were seeing on the bottom of that oil pan, that coolant crustacean, where it meets the water pump meets the engine block, right here, it's leaking there. It's maybe hard to see on camera, but right here, uh, there's a little bit of a coolant puddled up right before it runs down to the oil pan that we're seeing on the bottom. So that shimmer, that that glossy area right there that's really dark, that is puddled up coolant. And you can see the remnants of such right here. So anyway, that, uh, <clears throat> that concludes our, I guess our diagnosis of this Tiguan. Uh, we hope that this was very helpful for our client. Uh, we hope that uh, if you bring your car to us and you want the same type of diagnosis, we'll do it for you as well. We'll put it on video. Thanks for trusting us and thanks for watching another pad video. We'll see you next time.